Hi, my name's Dan. I'm a patient at the Walton Centre and I received DBS therapy for my essential trauma. I grew up in a small village outside of Liverpool called Rainhill and I basically I, I grew up there uh, for most of my life and then uh, I now live in Liverpool. I'm a junior doctor. I'm currently an A&E trainee but transferring through to anaesthetics. My original diagnosis was in uh, 2015 or so. Um, I was a medical student and I discovered during my, the course of my medical school that I had the tremor um, and was originally referred on from my GP to the Walton Centre directly onto the neurology services. The first thing I noticed about my tremor was I uh, would, my hands would shake doing fine motor skills. It got progressively worse as time went on and I, I felt that it was difficult to ignore by the end of the course of that year. And so I sought some um, medical help from, from a GP who later referred me on for, for DBS. My tremor made me feel quite embarrassed. Um, I felt actually that, particularly when it was, it was noted by other people, people would verbalise about it, I felt it was very difficult to try and cover up. I'd always try and, and mask my tremor wherever possible. Um, by you know making more gross, big, bigger movements, and um, I suppose that was that was essential. I felt acutely aware of it when other people pointed it out. The medical therapy that I tried didn't work anymore. It was starting to get resistant to the tremor, and I'm, I've got to say I'm the worst type of person for taking medications as it as it is anyway. And so um, DBS then became an option. It was something that was discussed through me with the Walton Centre's neurosurgical team. And they um, helped kind of bring me through the process and what it actually involved. I had my DBS four years into my diagnosis. Hi, I'm Mr. Osman Farah. I'm a consultant neurosurgeon uh, with an interest in functional neurosurgery. And I'm the lead for functional neurosurgery in the Walton Centre. Essential tremor is a benign condition in which there is a shake of the hand or the head or other part of the body. Generally, it's worst uh, on a voluntary movement and it can affect the quality of life because the patient can have difficulties in eating, drinking or putting on clothes. And uh, as I said, can affect significantly the quality of life uh, of patients who have the condition. DBS is a, a brain implant uh, which uh, consists of two electrodes, uh, a pulse generator, which is the battery itself. Uh, the electrodes are implanted in the brain and the pulse generator in the subcutaneous tissue. Uh, this implant allows to control certain movement disorder, Parkinson, essential tremor, dystonia. A significant number of patients with essential tremor can benefit from DBS. Patients that the benefits from DBS are those which have essential trauma medically resistant and medical treatment is the first uh, port of call for essential trauma and only if and when uh, the patient is medically resistant then DBS can be considered. I have a um, Boston Scientific re rechargeable device. It's very easy to manage for anybody who um, was thinking about this. It's, it's a very very simple thing you don't really get reminded about unless of course you, you look at the scar. I had my DBS in 2019, or so about four years into my diagnosis and essentially have my battery pack which is just over on my chest. Um, it became something that I was aware of and then was referred for and I, I had the, the procedure done. Uh, the effects of it were pretty immediate after everything was, was kind of switched on. There were certainly things that I couldn't do before having the DBS. Um, even simple things like, you know, uh, having a full cup of tea, um, you know, simple things like that I would really, really struggle with. And now I don't even think about it. I make sure I get a full cup of tea, which is nice. I, um, other things as well, of course, the, the clinical side of things, my job which was the, the biggest reason, the biggest motivator for me actually going ahead with the procedure. Things that I can do now, I don't have to think about. I would previously have to, you know, really, really think about whether the procedure I was about to do, I would be able to perform safely. I, you know, it's, it's meant that I don't have to even think about those things anymore. It's just assumed I can do, I can do it. 
I didn't expect the level of um, the the level that it actually gave me in terms of complete resolution of my tremor. And so even the the, the smallest of tasks, I, I have kind of much higher level of precision as to when I compare it when my DBS is switched off. The quality of my life has changed significantly after DBS. I feel that I feel essentially like back to normal. I don't have to take any medications anymore. I find that I could I don't have to think about my tremor and the situations that I might be going into later that day. Now I just walk out the house and, and almost forget that it was ever a, a problem that I faced some way down the road. And so it's it's drastically changed my life. Um, in terms of the actual management of the device itself, um, I frequently kind of check the device in terms of how much battery is left um, and providing on whether it's low or not I would consider recharging the device. My words of advice for anybody who is considering DBS would be to think about your options, talk it through with family, friends, anybody who's going to be helping you and kind of you know supporting you through the procedure and I would say go for it. It's something that's really honestly changed my life and has allowed me, it's given me my options back. Um, I would definitely consider if it's something that's, that's been recommended for you as a procedure, then I would certainly go for it.